Have you ever wondered what it means to truly surrender your heart to God's will? It's about trust, faith, and the humility to accept that our vision may sometimes be clouded, our understanding limited. Consider this. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3, it is written, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Those words, they carry a promise, a reassurance. They ask us to entrust our plans, our dreams, our aspirations to God, and in return, we receive His divine guidance. We are led down a path that might not always be clear, and yes, it can be challenging. But in this surrender, we find a profound expression of faith, a testament of trust in God's will. And so we learn that surrendering to God's will requires having faith that His guidance will lead us in the right direction. What does it mean to let go of control? It's a question that stirs within us, challenging our human need to guide our own destiny. The wisdom from Proverbs 19 verse 21 provides a profound answer. It states, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. This verse is a gentle reminder of the limitations of our control, the finite nature of our understanding. It tells us that regardless of the myriad plans we may weave, it's ultimately God's purpose that holds sway. This truth, while initially daunting, is actually a source of immense peace. It reassures us that we are part of a grand design, a divine plan that transcends our individual desires and aspirations. Surrendering our will to His doesn't mean giving up. It means trusting in a vision larger than our own, embracing a path that is guided by the ultimate wisdom. True peace comes when we surrender our will to His. What should we prioritize in our life? This question has been asked by countless individuals throughout history. The answer, according to the book of Matthew, is clear. God's kingdom. In Matthew 6, verse 33, we find a profound instruction. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse emphasizes the importance of making God's kingdom our primary focus. It's about aligning our desires and actions with God's will, not our own. It's about surrendering our hearts and seeking His righteousness above all else. But what does this mean in practical terms? It means living a life that reflects God's love and justice. It means making decisions that honor God and further His kingdom. It means trusting in His provision, even when circumstances seem challenging. When we prioritize God, He will provide for our needs. Remember this and let it guide your every step. Where can we find true peace and contentment? The answer lies in the wisdom of the Bible, specifically Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. This passage tells us not to be anxious about anything, but instead in every situation, to present our requests to God through prayer, petition, and thanksgiving. Imagine that in every situation, whether it's a joyous celebration or a challenging trial, we are encouraged to turn to God, to hand over our worries and concerns to Him in a demonstration of faith and trust. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. It's a peace that is beyond our human comprehension, a peace that comes from surrendering to God's will, from trusting His sovereignty over our lives. This is where we find true peace and contentment, not in worldly possessions or human achievements, but in the divine embrace of God's will. Peace comes from trusting in God's sovereignty and surrendering our worries to Him. How should we face trials and challenges in life? This is a question many of us grapple with daily. The scripture found in James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 provides a compelling answer. It encourages us to consider it pure joy when we face trials, for they test our faith and produce perseverance. This perseverance, when allowed to finish its work, leads us to maturity and completeness, leaving us lacking nothing. In essence, trials are not meant to break us, but to make us. They are divine tools, shaping us into the best version of ourselves, Embracing trials with faith, therefore, becomes a journey of transformation. It's about surrendering to God's will, even in the face of difficulties, knowing that He is in control. Surrendering to God's will in difficult times is not a sign of weakness, but a demonstration of profound faith and trust. It's a testament to our belief in His infinite wisdom and unwavering love. Thank you for watching Glorious Tube Channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and press the notification button.